Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the Backseat Critics. I've got morons on my team. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at them. All these poor, tragic people. Hey, and welcome back to the Backseat Critics, where we review movies, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, they're, they're kind of unfortunate movies, I guess yeah. you say, if you want to go down that route. Yeah, I mean, we're, what, three uh, high school musicals in, and a uh, now The Descendants, uh, 2015. Made by the same... Uh, yeah, Kenny Ortega, the director, yeah. Same, same. I think he did a lot better in this one. Yeah, this one was... Um, surprisingly better than high school musical the choreography was a lot better (laughs) the story was actually like something yes and um the 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 musical numbers were a lot better as well yes a lot better as well so good job i I have some questions about this movie though (laughs) i i wonder if they're the same questions i have like uh where did the kids come from? We know one parent. Is there like a sperm bank on this villain island that they're... Uh... What do you mean we, we know only one parent? We know Jafar is one parent of his son. Oh, We know that Maul is mm-hmm. a daughter of um, uh, Maleficent. But who's the dad? So they touch base about that in the third one. Oh. So we do get into that kind of root of Mal's parents in the third one. Okay. N- now, the bigger question, I think, is, though, we have Jafar kind of, you know, before technology times and everything, right? Yeah. Sure. We had Maleficent. Sure. Could Jafar and Maleficent be at the same time period? Sure. Perhaps. Roughly, sure. Different yeah. parts of the world. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Evil Queen, sure, maybe. Uh, and it's now Cruella, where is she is driving around in cars, and yeah, yeah, yeah. How is she tied into that? Meanwhile, on um, on uh, what is the the yeah. island's name? Arendelle. Or not Arendelle. Oradon? Oradon, yep. Arendelle's from Frozen. <laughs> there, There's Bald Mountain, which is the mountain from Fantasia, when they showed like the, the map of Oradon at the very beginning. There's okay. Bald Mountain, which is a map from Fantasia. So that's also in this in this world? No, if they captured all the evil, and we're talking about the mountain from Fantasia, how did they capture Trinobot then? Because he is the prime, ultimate, he's the most powerful, powerful villain of all time. Also, there was Skull Island in Ordon. What is that doing there? I mean, so if we if we do listen to the story in the beginning, they do. I mean, these these places do exist inside of these Disney towns or places, right? So I think it does kind of make sense in the fact to have these these landmarks because they remove the villains and decide to just take it all for their own. Yeah, they put them in. Was it in World War II? It was called the ghettos, right? <laughs> they, yeah, they yeah. put him in a ghetto. Yeah, that's really it's, what it's they so, just did. It's so unfortunate, and then they they barricade them off with a force field. Exactly, and they're like, <laughs> "Good luck, yeah. with your COVID." <laughs> <laughs> exactly what they just did. Yeah, yeah. Just hey, let's take some unpleasant bar- parts about our society and let's quarantine them off in the slums, cut them off from technology and magic and not let them go anywhere and let them fend for themselves yeah basically yeah i don't know if you caught um mal and all the kids kind of on the island they did a pretty good job in the beginning of making it like like you can tell those kids don't shower no like the hair like you could tell they they must have like told the actress hey you can't shower for like a week yeah it um it honestly, the opening bit with the first musical where they're doing flips through the market and stuff looked kind of like a scene that you would see in like all of the twist and like the slums of London kind of kind of deal where it's like no one's showered. There's there's rats and mice. Sorry, I'm just looking up the cast here. So my question, to, I mean, another question to that scene is that they were doing some pretty messed up stuff. Like what? Like 
stealing stuff from people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. the kids, you know, they, they were wrecking, they were tagging things. How do, like, those parents just not beat the crap out of those kids? I mean, are they just deathly scared of Maleficent and Jafar and all them, even though they don't have their powers? Yeah, what, what is there to be scared of? Uh, Jafar's running a store, too, so, like... Yeah. Are you scared of a store owner? I mean, why are you afraid? You know what? You know who would be the most fearful person in there? Would be Ursula. I was wondering what what happened to her. We'll see that in future movies. Oh, that comes up. That does come up. Ursula does come up. They they expand in future movies. Their their villain of Repitar. Uh, yeah, fancy. Uh, I was curious also about Gaston. We have uh, we have the Beast and we have. Uh, uh i honestly forget bell bell thank you bell um and who made the why why are we making those the the main two and not cinderella and prince charming sure i mean there's right. so many people that we could have i mean the little mermaid and what's his face prince eric, eric. yeah yeah i mean hercules is a god how are we not doing where's hercules? he yeah where's hades where's zeus yeah, yeah. Uh, i also read that uh the kid that played um uh cruella de vil's kid cameron boyce he died he died yeah he died yeah uh Rest like somebody with epilepsy yeah yeah yep he um he was probably the eyes uh, he's probably the most top rated uh cast out of that that main group yeah is it's either him or uh Kristen trench i'm a butcher her name so i do apologize to whoever's listening to this because you stumbled across this uh kristen chensworth or something like that she is the maleficent gotcha yeah yeah that uh, those two are the the most top rated cast everybody else i think are nobodies yeah maybe uh, the evil queen might have been somebody uh bobo stewart the guy that played jafar's kid yeah what a name bobo <laughs> Bobo or Boo Boo? I'm not Boo-boo, sure. Boo Boo, I think it is. Is it B O O B O O? So yeah, you're probably right. Um, he was in uh, some X Men movies. Uh, yeah. So. That's Karen Boyce, so he he had the that Disney show going for a little bit. Um, I forgot it was something with a uh, Jesse Jesse something was in it, and then it was um. Yeah, it was just called Jesse. Jesse, yeah. And then it looks like he was also in uh, Grown Ups. He was in Grown Ups. He was one of the kids. Um, I think he was Adam Sandler's son. Okay. And then he's also in a movie called Mirrors. Yes. With um, Kevin Costner. Um, what's his Kiefer name? Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, as I say, in 24. 24 guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, he did He did hit on some... But you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on the limb and say Kristen Chensworth is probably the biggest person in here. Yeah. Maleficent. She was probably... I mean, you could kind of tells her just because of her voice but i mean she's been in a lot more higher end movies so than the rest of the cast i think yeah. cameron boyce was only a good good call in this movie because most of these kids that probably grew up watching this probably watched jesse like they're in the sweet life of zach and cody okay like um that's probably where we ended our childhood most likely i didn't even see that sure i mean that's probably the it's probably if you had Disney Channel, that's probably towards the end of our childhood, most likely. So yeah, we start off with this movie. They're in the slums. They're doing flips and stuff with uh, the opening musical number, um, and then they meet with the parents. Yeah. And we cut back to uh, Oradon, the good guy's little place. Yes. Um, and the son of Bell and Beast. Uh, does he ever actually get a name other than Beast? Ben. Ben? Ben. Ben is his name. All right. Um, ben Funky Doodle. <laughs> I forgot his name. Florian, I think it is. Wait, are you serious? That yeah. was the actual name? I missed that. The, his middle name. I think his, his middle name is Florian or something like that. Yep. We talk about him on the bridge on their date. Yeah, so we cut back and he's like, hey, I want to invite some of these, the kids of the villains over to our school for a bit and maybe try integrating them in, in our society a little bit more, which his parents seem kind of taken aback about, I guess. I mean, I would be too if I were from them, but I mean, yeah. I mean, you're like, these people tried to kill me. Why are these, do you think these kids are not going to try to kill me too? 
I did their family dirty. That's why. That's probably why. They yeah, yeah, they yeah. You, you stick them over there on an island, quarantined off from the rest of the world, and then. Well, they did them dirty in their movies or their their tales or their stories, and I mean, Beast basically killed. Ga- I mean, Gaston. If they ever show Gaston in these movies, he's he, a zombie. Oh, n- I mean, he's either a zombie or that homie's walking around in. He's Stephen Hawking now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Without yeah, the yeah. brains. No. He's definitely. It's gonna be a lo- just big buff dude in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. Speaking by a little keypad. He probably can only move a pinky at best. He doesn't come back, does he? Gaston? Yeah. Uh, we see his son. I mean, it's possible that Gaston could be dead, though I think he does mention it later in 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 that movie. Um, that he says, tell your dad that my dad says hello to Ben. I'm just trying to work out the timelines here. So, yeah, the, we cut back to the, the kids on, um, I forget what the island is called with all the villains on it. I don't know. Um. And, uh, <laughs> and they start plotting and formulating a way to steal the wand to free them so they can take over Ordon. Yes. And this whole scene is bizarre where they're plotting and Maul and Maleficent have a staring contest, I guess. Yep. And that's how they come to the end of debates is like just Wh- whoever reflects the most power by staring. I mean, their eyes turn pretty green. My eyes are hazel. If I stare at you, do I win an argument? We can find out later. <laughs> Be looking deep in your eyes. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, there's they're just, just like a void behind there. I mean, I, obviously, I'm dumb enough to watch this end. It's in High School Musical, so here I am. Yeah. So yeah. I, actually, I actually enjoy the sentence. Besides yeah, it's all the craziness behind it. I do enjoy the sentence. I really, really, really wanted to dislike it more than I did, and it's fine. I think I think that's the problem behind this movie is that we want to dislike this movie so much. When you watch it, you're like, oh, great. It's a Disney Channel original movie. It's a little kid movie. It's a musical. You know, the target audience is like junior high, high school. I'm well past that. No, little kids love this. They eat this up. Little kids eat this up? Eat this up. I know. I know. I know. Sixth grader. You're not sixth grader. Uh, a six-year-old loves this movie. Little kids love this movie. They love Mal and Evie and... Little girls love That's this. That's crazy. That's such a like a, a lower demographic than I would have thought. Oh yeah, they. I think it's the the songs. I think it's the outfits. They did a bright colors for the villains. I, I do like the costumes. They did bright colors. Um, I think it's the the story. I mean, we got princesses and it's just told from the villains mm-hmm. side. We got the villains. We got we got it all here. I mean, this is at the time when we're kind of telling stories from the villain's side of point of view, like when movies and stuff, yep. we have like Suicide Squad and, um, oh God, there was like one other. Joker. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's uh, Venom. We have Morbius now. But this one you can see, that like, movie. you can see the love behind this one, you know, like you have the little... I mean, what little girl doesn't love princesses? She likes the... She wants to interact and be like, yes, I want my prince. This is like a boyfriend high school type drama that they like for them. Okay. There's that drama for them behind this. And it's it's pretty well at moving along. It is pretty well paced. It is two hours though, which I do think they could have probably shaved off like 20 minutes. Yeah. Half an hour kept it like a nice tight hour and a half so question for you yeah so we have in Ordon, we uh, they said that we have mo- multiple other kingdoms the main one is beauty and the beast and bells right prince charming son is going to their high school there's obviously other high schools who's the all-star for the other high schools mm, who's kids Hercules. that has to then why isn't that school the most dominant? <laughs> Money, maybe? How would they... How do these places like not go to a war, too? I mean, this one also has Mulan's kid. There's the fairy godmother's yeah. kid. They did Mulan dirty in here. 
She got like a like, oh hi, I'm Milan's kid, and then leave scene. She and I think we might see her later. in the background. You'll see her more later. Okay. Um, with a fairy godmother's kid. We have Aurora's kid. Like we have yeah. all of these kids. Where's like I wanna know where where's Aladdin's kid? Like how did schools that did he go to? How did Little Mermaid go to school? Cause she's still a mermaid at the end of the movie, right? No. I haven't seen In that. Little Mermaid Two. She's on land. Oh, does she end on land though? I never. Or is it like Little the mermaid classic too. fairy tale where she cuts off her legs and then tries to crawl back in the sea where she disintegrates into sea foam? I think when she goes and touches water, she gets the tail again. Hey. I think that's the route they took. That's convenient. So when she she goes into water, she becomes a mermaid again. What kind of power is that? Oh my gosh! This... I mean, child ring would suck. Yeah. A little drop of water. Oh crap! <laughs> washing your hands anywhere. Yeah, she must. Public bathroom, just like washing your hands, just fall on the floor. I wonder if that goes with any liquid too. Like if she did um, rubbing rain. alcohol, rain. Yeah, you can't when it rains. Sorry, mom can't go out today. Why? Because she'll turn into a fish. Could you imagine? She she's driving and. I don't know, get some water on herself because she like spills a little bit and then Hey. This. No, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Hear me out. All right. The ultimate plan. She's walking out. It's a beautiful day out. No snow no cloud in the sky. Birds in the sky. Exactly. A bird comes by. It takes a little little pee pee. No, no, no not a little poopy. A little pee pee. No pss. No a little pss. And hits her. She does. She turned into a mermaid with the water of the bird's piss. Mm, now that would suck. But what school is dominant here? Is it really? Also, where's Quasimodo's kid? <laughs> <laughs> In a tower. This one also has Dopey. Where's Grumpy's kid? Where's Doc's kid? I mean, I guess we got to think though too that not all these people probably did the dirty at the same time. But apparently Some they did. did. Given Cruella is also in the same timeline, and yeah, her that, kid is the wild. same age as Maleficent's kid and and uh, Eagle Queen's kid. And now another question far. is: obviously, we saw other kids on the island, the villain, the ghetto, the villain island. What did these other kids do to deserve to be on this island as well? Because they weren't any characters' kids. Like, hold up. There's Skull Island, so there should be Peter Pan's kid, right? Just floating around. So we do get into Captain Hook's kid later. Okay. I don't know if we can get into Peter Pan later unless we're talking about that new Rescue Rangers, Peter Pan. But Peter Pan is technically a kid who can't do the dirty. Unless you're, you count Pan with Robin Williams. Sure, but that's because he left Neverland. And it's just Skull Island that's part of Auradon. Also, there is Bald Mountain from Fantasia. So where's Mickey Mouse's kid? <laughs> Running around. I want, I want to see hole. some gross human with like Mickey Mouse ears. Oh jeez. <laughs> well, those humanoid pictures of him. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, you got to. Th- I, mean, I guess I didn't think about it that way though. That there's other these kids. Some of them probably didn't do the dirty. Some of the parents. So okay, I hear you out there, Disney. Good job there, I guess. Maybe Jasmine and Aladdin's kids are not old enough to go to the high school yet. Maybe. I don't know. They, they have a monkey to take care of I, and a, a genie. I think they missed out on some opportunities here, though. Yeah. To have more more kids. What about Scar? Yeah, no. Dude, yeah. why not? I don't know how you put in the... I don't know how you'd put the animals in this. I mean, obviously, we're talking about more human. Just Channing Tatum furry costume. Don't address it. Yeah. It's a good idea. I'd rather see like Adam Sandler in a costume and we'll roll with that. Adam Sandler? No. That'd be funny. Can we see like Jack Black in it? Yes. Jack the answer yeah, is yes. Yeah, Jack. I, okay. Yeah, the answer is yes. Yeah. It's yeah. not no. The answer is yes. <laughs> Werner Herzog? The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. Yeah, no. Will Ferrell? Yes. So with Will Ferrell, you know he's going to take his shirt off at some point, probably. 
Uh, he always does. He gets in his underwear, which is perfect for this movie because we see booty cheeks in this movie. <laughs> Which is made for kids. I knew that you were going to circle around to that. And I was just like, when and how is he going to shoehorn that in? There we are. Here we are. We got you were the booty so cheeks. focused on that. When you, I was, when you came over, you were like, dude, booty cheeks. There were booty cheeks in this movie. Last night you texted me. You are like, dude, booty cheeks. Exactly. How, how in the world did Disney get away with this? How did they get away with having booty cheeks in this movie meant for kids? Yeah. Um, I mean, I wasn't even like, I don't know how many other, I only caught the one, but I didn't even like go back and look through the rest. Like, are there other cheeks in this movie? <laughs> There's rated G probably, maybe PG. Yeah. No, I have the DVD box at home. I'm going to have to go home and take a look. You have the DVD of this? I have the DVD of this. When you're my parents... They uh for Christmas they're like what do we get you and I was like I don't need anything and they're like okay so what do we get you I was like as a joke I said the Descendants movies I opened up my Christmas present I have Descendants movies all of them just every single one every single one of them well, oh, except man. for the cartoons but I I don't know whether to if that's like a point to be proud of or or what but it, it's something yeah yeah yeah. Just get pause moment for you to cut some stuff out if we need be. I love the fairy godmother's daughter in this. Why? She starts out as this. Oh no, there's a villain! Oh. <laughs> and so skittish and like running away from them, yeah. And then turned into. Ah, I'm the pretty girl now. Can you fix my nose next? Mm hmm. She ends up being the one that takes the wand at the end. Mm hmm. I wonder why, too. She's so dead set on a nose. That's true. And uh, Mal had told her earlier, I can't fix your nose without the wand because it's a big project. Mm. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We need a, I need to backtrack here. Let's talk about Aurora's daughter, Sleeping Beauty's daughter. Okay. That gal just knows how to grab her man besides Ben. Ben and Ben obviously is under the spell. Gets with a starts a crush on Mal, right? Mm -hmm. At the foot at the game, which yep. is a wild sport, by the way. What the, what the heck kind of game is this? And we have the the it's death lacrosse. Yeah, we death the, lacrosse. This, this is no man's ball. land where we're just shooting at the kids now. Yes, I don't know how they got away with this, but okay. It's a typical American high school. Sure. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And wild sport. But no, at the end of this thing, he, Ben decides to go, hey, um, I'm in love with Mile now. So, yeah. And then she comes up. She goes, oh, by the way, I'm a child now. So, bye-bye. Yeah. And she's like, oh, okay. You know how to grab your man right away. I see you. And mm -hmm. then at the end, I don't know where the booty cheeks happen at the big dance scene. She goes up to, I believe. Uh, well, this, this was the finale dance. Scene. The finale dance. Okay. By the way, I like okay. that song good song she comes up and steals jafar's son and just grabs him and starts dancing with him that girl knows how to get her man it's very demanding yes she just yeah. oh that's, that's my man now <laughs> you're mine yeah yeah it seemed weird to me that her son was scared of dogs rather than more aggressive towards them like her her his mom did you catch that she actually caught one? Well, the, the little puppy that yeah. she has. Like, I was just like, what? It's so dark. How did they get away with that on a kid's mood? Because, like, the booty cheeks is an accident. The booty cheeks happen. How do you not Once a day, out? my booty cheeks just flutter out. Like, that's fine. But, <laughs> but like... Back there, a dump truck? <laughs> a Tonka truck back there? <laughs> Like back it up. Boop, boop. Oh, sorry guys, they just slipped out. <laughs> I just gotta be super careful when I'm out and about because it's just like once a day. Check but, my cakes out. <laughs> <laughs> um, just you know, top of the muffin. Um, yeah, like accidental booty slip. <laughs> and now, <laughs> don't worry, Disney. I can be part of your movies because you do it as well. <laughs> but like, how do they killing puppies and just like showing the dead dog on the this lady's like shawl? Mm -hmm. With a squeaker in it? Mm-hmm. Like, we're just doing that? 
Mm-hmm. We did do that. We definitely did do that. They did that. Yeah. I don't know why, but they did. It's so dark. And right off the bat, too, that's like within the first like 10 minutes. 100%. Yeah. 100% within the first 10 minutes. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. And again, we we go back to this the museum scene where they're, they're mm-hmm. breaking for the first time to steal the, the wand. And um, they're running. And then Krill Deville's kid picks up the phone, turns off the alarm and says, oh, hey, it was a malfunction on... You know, Looks whatever like a manual circuit. thing right there, yeah. And then he runs away, and we never touch on that bit of him again. We find out that he's kind of like a technological genius somehow. When he comes from an island that doesn't have any technology, right? But he's a technology de- genius somehow. Somehow, he's yeah. just a whiz kid. Yes. Do, do we ever touch on that again in the other two movies? That he's good at technology. Yeah. No, no, no he's just good at technology the whole time. That's. Well, he is eventually he gets a 3d printer believe it or not yes he gets a 3d printer and they roll fat a couple of times um no he's just a technological de- genius he picks up the video games which is like basically a it's just like a knockoff wii yeah it's exactly what i was gonna say it's a knockoff it's just wii. like with little batons with lights at the end oh, you know what it's actually a knockoff is the um playstation 3 the move i don't know if you ever heard of that no i didn't so that was their version of the week since everybody was trying to figure out or that was their way to combat um, the Xbox's Kinect at the time. Okay. So, but that's basically huh. what they had was a PlayStation 3 move with... With PlayStation w- 1 graphics. Yeah, say with worse graphics. Like that is a game that I would probably play in a Nickel Arcade. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. I can see myself playing that something... Not. I mean, maybe I wouldn't play that, that game, but... That's a game I could see in Wonderland or some more like that. Man, like some Nintendo 64 games looked better than that. Not much, but... Yeah, some of the cutscenes at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's Ursula's kid get around? Are you'll they see. half Next kid? movie, you'll see. Okay. Are uh, they half, uh, half squid or octopus? You'll see, next movie. They introduced Gaston's kid, Smee's kid... Oh, kids, yeah, yeah. me gets involved. Um, other kids get involved in it. I think uh, Druzella, um, the evil stepmother from Cinderella. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. evil stepsisters' um, daughter gets in, one of the one of the daughters he introduced. Okay. Their kid. Um, what's his face? Uh, Doctor Facilier. So, so this movie was like kind of okay. Like it, like it was pretty good. It was entertaining. Yeah. For what it was, when you watch it, you're like, it's a popcorn movie. I think you watch it and you go, okay, I, I, I see these villains. I know these villains. I know these characters. Um, they're done in a pretty decent way for being a low budgeted just for TV movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you watch and you go, okay, that's this is better than what I expected. This this story and is moving along. It's not dragging. Frankly, the villains are. And Disney movies are a little bit more entertaining than the heroes. Yeah. I mean... I, I would argue. Like, outside of maybe, like, Hercules or Simba. Hercules is a little dry himself. Yeah. Cocky Hercules was fun, but... Yeah, yeah, he's fun. But, like, out of the out of all the heroes. Well, the, way it's, well, the way it's done, though, it's definitely something that can keep you entertained. Keep you entertained. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. You can watch me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, it slowly does get downhill from here. <laughs> I think the second one goes, it kind of goes like up and down, kind of like what our high school musical. I think Disney is terrible at second movies. They tried to recreate it with the third movie, and the third movie is not always as great as the first one, but it's better it's than the second. Yeah. And uh, sadly, for this series, this is going to be the case. Does it get more fun? As the movies go on, like more cheesy, yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm I'm here for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> here for the cheese. My only thing about this movie that drives me wild is how do we get to this point where there is kids on this island of the villains that they don't belong to any villain, probably. Right. Like, why are they there? There's just tons of kids there. Yeah. yeah or why are these adults there? Like. Did they steal something and they're like, oh, you got to go to the island now. And they just toss them in. Is that their jail? Like, 
if you mess up, you're going to the island with all these other pe- crazy people. Right. I was just kind of curious because Jafar is running a store and he relies on his son to steal items for him to sell. So clearly these villains don't have much of a stranglehold on the island. Otherwise, why steal it? Exactly. When you could just, it's yours. So yeah, who are these other people? And You're saying that they're not stealing from him. Yeah. We do have to touch on this. The timer's running out. What about that love spell? In a, in a muffin? Was it a muffin or a cookie? Which one was it? It was a cookie. It was a cookie. It well, was a cookie. What about that love spell in that cookie? That was wild. That is uh, a little Bill Cosby. A little bit of a, a twist on this movie, though. Like, they do the love spell. Mm-hmm. You know in the feeling in the beginning, Mal and Ben, you can tell that they were they were feeling they're, each they're, other. They were flirting. They were flirting. They were flirting. They were, they were feeling each other. They're like, yeah. okay, okay. And then the love spell, I think that just gave Ben the excuse. He's just like, you know, this girl, Sleeping Beauty's daughter, crazy, super clingy. Then she leaves, where obviously he goes with Mal and wears off in this mystical river somewhere on the property of somewhere. They rode bikes. Pretended to drown for a little bit, I think. Ben? Yeah, didn't he pretend to drown and then Mal went out to try to save him? No, she she sang this, uh, she sang her song. About, oh, man, maybe I need to be a good person instead. A little switch in the movie for her. And then she turns around, and there's no Ben. I think she just went into the water, if I remember right. Yeah. But I thought, one of the, was it her that couldn't swim? She couldn't swim. Okay. Ben obviously dove in. There's a little, oh, I went straight Wolverine. And then just ripped off his shirt. He had little crowns on his, his pants. No booty cheeks here. No, no booty cheeks in this scene. That, that was at the end, at the end. But yes, this movie, I would, I would. If I, once I have a kid and everything, and grow up again or so, you know, it's it's a good one to show kids. All right. Well, well, uh, that is it. Um, stay wait tuned for, for us. next time. Yeah, wait for us next time where we'll be covering Descendants Dose. With the sea. With the C. Yeah, this one's more of a about ocean. I forgot. There, there is a little bit of a title underneath it. It's got more of the Little Mermaid. Uh, if you liked us, uh, go ahead and subscribe or like our podcast. And uh, we're until done. next time. <laughs> <laughs>